Hi, my name is Sean, and I'm a product manager on the cloud platform team here at Cisco Meraki. Today, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of Meraki's per-device licensing model. First, I'll provide some background on licensing at Meraki. Then, I'll dive into a per-device licensing demo, and then wrap it up by talking about converting to per-device licensing. Traditionally, Meraki has offered a coterminous licensing model. That means all the devices and software products in a given dashboard account or organization share a single expiration date. This date is dynamically calculated off a weighted average based on the license types you've purchased and claimed into your dashboard organization. With per-device licensing, customers are able to assign a license directly to a specific device or network. This allows IT teams to maintain a single shared expiration date or various expiration dates across devices, networks, or organization, whatever makes sense for your business. Per-device licensing offers a variety of features and ultimate flexibility for customers of all sizes. So for example, when you purchase a three-year license for your new access point, you will have three years from that date until you need to purchase a renewal. If you purchase another access point a year later with a three-year license, that device and license will expire one year later than the one that you originally purchased, as you can see here. In per-device licensing, we have exclusive features and capabilities. You are able to renew all or a subset of devices or networks within your organization. If you run a multi-org Meraki shop, we give you the ability to easily move licenses and devices between those organizations. You don't have to call into Meraki support to get those licenses moved. Customers now have up to 90 days to claim and assign their licenses before they activate, so they can take their time in their deployment. A full API suite is available for per-device licensing, so customers can easily automate the process or tie into an existing third-party system with our APIs. You can use the APIs to claim, assign, move, and monitor your devices and licenses. When your license expires for a specific device, only that device will be deactivated. You can purchase a renewal and apply that license to reactivate the device. Okay, great. We know a little bit more about per-device licensing at Meraki. So let's dive into a demo and I'll show you the ropes. Here, we can find the license and inventory page. You can view all of your licenses and devices in a single view in your organization. This overview page gives you a quick glimpse of everything related to licensing and devices. You can see here at the top left your soonest expiration dates. This allows you to quickly understand if you need to take any action on devices that are expiring soon. Going down, we have the license status. You can see what devices are unlicensed, if any are expiring in the next couple of weeks, if you have any additional licenses, and if you have systems manager, how many seats you have remaining. Jumping over to the right, you can see how many devices are in your organization, how many are unlicensed, and if you have any extra licenses that you may want to assign. At the bottom, we have a change log that is specific to device and license management. Everything you see here has a deep link, including the license status. So if you click on one of the cards, you will be redirected to the relevant page with the predefined filter. The Devices tab provides a list of all, all the devices you have in your inventory. You can use our quick filters at the top, the search bar, or more granular filters here. You can see each device has its own expiration date associated with it, hence per device licensing. From this page, you can select a device or set of devices and do things like change the network assignment change the organization assignment, remove it from the organization, or assign licenses to the device. Going over to the licensing tab, you can see all the licenses you have in your organization. When you claim a single license key or order into your organization, Meraki generates individual license IDs, which you can see here. These are the licenses that can then be assigned to devices. Just like the devices tab, you can easily filter based on criteria at the top or using the more predefined granular filters or the search bar. 
In this list, we provide details such as which device the license is associated to, when the license was activated, the expiration date of the license, and how much time is remaining for that license. Similar to the devices, you can take additional actions on licenses from moving between organizations to assigning the license. The expiration dates tab gives you more detail than what you saw on the overview page. You can get a quick glimpse into what is going to be expiring the soonest and jump right into those devices or software products to take any necessary action. Similarly, on the networks tab, you can view all of your networks, the expiration dates, and then dive into specific devices or software products that you might be interested in. If you run multiple sites, this view will be very beneficial. The change log tab is an extension of what you saw on the overview page. This will, this will show an extended list of all the changes as it relates to licenses, devices, and orders. Great, let's talk about conversion. If you are interested in per device licensing and have already have an organization with active licenses and devices, we will use your current code termination date generate license IDs with the same expiration date and apply them to devices in your organization. Your expiration date does not change when you convert. You will not see a difference until you renew licenses or add more devices and licenses to your organization. If you have extra licenses from the conversion, we will generate the license IDs with the same expiration date and place them in your licensing inventory. All right. That's all I have to show today. In summary, Meraki is offering a licensing model based on a per device concept. With per device licensing, customers are able to assign a license directly to a specific device or network. This allows IT teams to maintain a single shared expiration date or various expiration dates across devices, networks, or organizations, however you see fit. If you have any questions, please reach out to your Meraki sales rep or visit the Meraki community. Thank you.